Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah khan here. And today, with the NAR gate as a universal gate. We've seen the last we did the NAND gate as a universal gate. We implemented the different gates with NAND. And now, we do them using the R, using the NAR, okay? So number first, let's say, is the NAR gate. Uh, as NAR. The NAR is used as a NAR gate. So what the NAR gate does, it, it complements, right? And what a NAR gate does, for NAR we have A plus B, and then you have a whole complement. All right, so now if I give it similar inputs, if I give it similar inputs, if similar inputs, let's say A, R with A, complement. So A R with A is what? It's an A. All right, 0 R with a 0 is a 0, and 1 R with 1 is a 1. So which means this would be A, and this would be complement. All right, now why, so, so how do you, you represent it? This is what, this is the, let's say, the NOR gate. All right, and this is the output. So if you have the inputs over here, you combine it and you give it a single input. So the function out here would be what? It would be an A complement. All right, so you need a single uh, a single NOR gate to represent a NOR gate, all right? One NOR. All right, now the second is one. The second is, let's say, the OR gate. OR. So for OR, now for NOR, we know that NOR is what? It's basically, NOR is basically OR plus a NOR gate. Which means that the NOR is the NOR complements whatever the OR gives it. All right, so now we can use this NOR gate as an OR gate. We, 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 we give it a, a what? A, a NOR gate. So let's say this is the NOR gate. All right, now over here we have an A plus B all complement. All right. A plus... Uh, a, a, let me write it down first. If, if this is the A and this is the B, so over here we have an A plus B whole complement, all right? So now if you give it another, another uh, uh, NOT gate, so over here you will have what? Y is equal to A plus B whole complements complement. And we know that the complement of a complement is the same thing, so we have an A plus B, which means now this is used as an OR gate. And now this NOR gate could be replaced by a NOR gate, by one NOR gate we've seen. And we give the two inputs the same one input. Like this. Or like this. And this is the function. All right, so now we need two NOR gates to represent a single OR gate. Okay, is that fine? The next, let's say, is the AND gate. The NOR is used as an AND gate. All right, now from the, from the NOR gate, we know that its function is what? It is an A plus B whole complement. And if you apply the De Morgan's law, so you can have it as an A complement times B complement. All right, so which means you need to invert the inputs, all right? All right. So now you do what? You invert the inputs and you give it to an OR gate. Let's say this is the first input. This is the second input. And this is, let's say, the NOR gate. Let's say this is A, this is B. And over here, what do we have? We have a Y is equal to a complement plus B complement whole complement. All right, so now if you apply the De Morgan's law, so we can have the function Y is equal to an A times B, which means that this is an AND operation. And we know that this NAND gate, this NOT gate could now be rep uh, replaced by a what? By a NOR gate. So now I replace it over here. All right, and I give it the same inputs. 
this is A, and this is B, and that is how you get the AND operation from the NOR gate. So which means you now you need three NOR gates to get an AND operation. All right. Now if you have to represent, if you, if you need the NAND gate from it, the fourth is, let's say, the NOR as a NAND. And we know that the NAND does what? It basically uh, complements the AND operation, which means that this Y would equal to A times B whole complement. Now till here, have a look, we have this A times B, but we need a complement, and the complement is from a NOT gate, and we know that we can use a single NOR gate, give the, the, the inputs the same single input, so you have a, you have a what? You have a NOT gate obtained from the NOR gate, so, so I can replace this. So I should remove this, I believe, as you've written it down. All right, or I will write it down over here. So till here we have the AND gate, that is the A and it with B. Now if you do what? Now if you give this to a further uh, OR gate, uh, sorry, NOR gate, you give it the same inputs at the two terminals. So now you have over here, you have obtained the NAND gate, which means the A times B, whole complement is obtained from these one, two, three, and four gates. So to obtain an AND gate, you need four NOR gates. Is that fine? Okay. The next is to use this NOR gate as an exclusive NOR gate. Uh, this is the fifth, I believe. All right, three, two, five, six. yes. So, so, so we have what? Exclusive NOR gate. All right. So how do we do it? We saw from the exclusive in the previous video also, so from the NAND gate, so we draw the same sort of a circuitry, all right? We have, uh, or let me draw it uh, a little to the side, and we can have some proofs to the right hand side, all right? So we have like this. Okay, you people also, if you want to draw, so you can draw it with me. And then we'll, we'll see. All right, now what do we do? Let me change the color. So this output is given to this NOR gate, this output is given to this NOR gate, and this output is given to one NOR gate and to the other NOR gate. All right, now this B, we have one input B, let's say, this is given to that NOR gate and it's given to this one as well. And the next input is, let's say, A, so which is also given to this NOR gate and it's given to this gate as well. So this is the circuitry for what? For the exclusive NOR gate to get from what? From a, from a NOR gate. So we prove it, okay? So over here, let's say we have what? We have A or with B, whole we'll complement. Then at this point, at this point we have an A or with A or B complement and then the whole complement, all right? This is exclusive NOR operation again and over here we have B or with A or with B whole complement and then a whole complement. I believe you understood how did I write it, okay? Now proving and then uh, simplifying this, okay? You know from the rules of Boolean algebra. So you apply the De Morgan's law at this. So we have an A complement into A plus B whole complement. Now A plus B. And over here you have what? You have a, a, a B complement into what? Into an, uh, uh, into an A plus B. All right. And now at this operation you have y is equal to this is all with that a complement times a plus b this is or 
with B complement times A plus B and then we have a whole complement to it. So you have a whole complement, now I come over here. So you do what now? You, uh, you apply the De Morgan's law, De Morgan's law. So what do you do? You have an A complement into B complement. So this is an A complement times A plus B. This is the A. So you have an A complement into you have B complement. Complement times A plus B and you have a whole complement. Now you know how to solve them, right? You pause the video over here. You solve it yourself and then you check with me, alright? Now come back. So what do you do now? Again, you have the De Morgan's law. So you have an A time A plus A plus B whole complement. This end is over here. Then we have a B plus A plus B whole complement. All right. Uh, and then if you want to apply the De Morgan's law again, so we have an A plus A complement B complement time uh, into uh, B plus A complement B complement. Now A complement B complement is repeated twice so I can write it one time. So I can have an A times B plus A complement B complement and that's it that is the exclusive NOR operation the exclusive NOR operation is what it's A, A times B plus A, A complement B complement alright so this function Y is equal to A B plus A complement B complement all right. Now this is what this is for the exclusive NOR. So for exclusive NOR, you need how many gates? You need a one, two, three, four NOR gates. All right. Now the last in this in this conversion is what the sixth. So this is the exclusive OR operation. All right. Now we've seen from the previous video as well. If you need the exclusive OR, so you can have it directly from the exclusive NOR by complementing it exclusive nor and complement it all right so you give it another nor gate over here so that would be what that would result that would act as a nor gate which means that would complement this input all right let me remove it okay so now if you give it uh, you give it a a nor gate over here so now this would be what? This would be an A exclusive OR with B. Alright, this would be A exclusive OR with B. Uh, you take this complement, the complement of this thing by the De Morgan's law. So this is your homework for you. That uh, Y is equal to A times B. And then you have an OR, then you have an A times A complement, B complement. So you do what? You take the whole complement, you take the whole complement and you prove it, you prove it to what? You prove it to Y is equal to A times B complement plus A complement times B. So this is your homework to prove it to this point, all right? And this is the exclusive OR operation we have obtained from the NOR gate and we see that we have we used five, five NOR gates. Five NOR gates are used to get an operation equivalent to the exclusive OR. And that's all about the exclusive NOR gate. That's all about its universality. That's all about today's lecture. So I'll see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.